Hey Civ fans, welcome back to Rolo Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about the new developer update video from the nice folks over at Fire Axis. <clears throat> Welcome to the developer video. They posted a new video on their YouTube channel and have announced some very interesting things for the next January DLC for the new Frontier Pass, which we now know is coming January 28th. <coughs> and in this video, we're going to be touching on a couple topics. There's going to be a new civilization and a new civilization leader, Vietnam. Watch out, America. I wanted to avoid this, you know. The developers have also noted that they're going to make a first look video for Vietnam coming up soon. And when that comes, we'll make a video on that as well. We're also getting an alternate leader for China and Mongolia, the Kublai Khan. The jolly but ruthless conqueror, Kublai Khan. Or Kublai Khan, which was the founder of the Yuan Dynasty, and also the fifth Khan of the Mongolian Empire. <laughs> There's also a new capitalist game mode called Corporations and Monopolies. I like money! So this new update makes America happy, and sad, you know, with the whole capitalist game mode and, you know, Vietnam being announced as a leader. I wonder why they didn't just call the new update Capitalism, the Capitalism Game Mode. Along with that, we're also getting a new district with two new buildings. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can find out from this video. Welcome to Vietnam. Now, as per usual, we're going to let the first looks provide the details on this culture and terrain focused civ. Looks like Vietnam is going to be a culture and terrain focused civilization. The culture bonuses, I'm not really sure what they're going to do with, but with the terrain, I'm pretty sure they're going to focus on some something about like their jungles because Vietnam is very well known for their jungles being able to talk. Welcome to Vietnam. However, I'm not sure what their unique units will be. It'll probably be something along the lines of like the Viet Congs. But as for their unique improvement or building, I have no idea whatsoever. Maybe it'll be like a Vietnam restaurant or something. What do you think their unique buildings and units will be? Leave your comment down below. This leader is a fierce warrior. They are known for their bravery, guerrilla tactics, and deadly temper. Oh, guerrilla tactics. <laughs> Welcome to Vietnam. The jolly but ruthless conqueror, Kublai Khan. Again, we're saving the details for a Kublai Khan first look. Looks like there's going to be a first look video for Kublai Khan as well. I'm looking forward to that. We know a lot of you have requested more robust economic gameplay. So we've created the Monopolies and Corporations game mode. Okay, so here we go. The Monopolies and Corporations game mode. This is where, like, the real meat and potatoes of this whole video is. There's so many updates to this new game mode. I also wanted to say that Mansamusa is very happy with this game mode as well. He's definitely looking to make them big bucks. Mansamusa is gonna have a monopoly on all the gold. I like money! With the Monopolies and Corporations game mode, you'll be able to create an entire industry around duplicate resources. Okay, so this is basically focused on duplicate resources. Finally, all those like random duplicate resources that you find, sorry, specifically luxury resources. All those luxury resources that you find that are extra, you can actually go ahead and make it some more use out of them. Pretty much making a corporation and monopoly out of it. Industries provide powerful buffs to their home cities. So you get some really nice buffs through making these little like companies along with great merchant points. So the buffs pretty much include yields, housing, and military buffs, which you could probably use very strategically in order to, uh, you know, steamroll your way through and snowball your way through to victory. Yields could be used to make specific tiles even more interesting. Housing could help your city grow even more. And military buffs will just make your army even more powerful. I'm sure that whatever buff you do get, will help you snowball your way to victory. You can level up an industry into a corporation. Okay, so the way you make corporations is using great persons, which is a nice way to go ahead and balance these corporations and make sure that, you know, people don't just start spamming them out. There's probably a joke somewhere in here where you can use a great person who opposed corporations to make a corporation. But sadly, I don't think I know Civilization VI great leaders enough to really go ahead and figure that out. <laughs> also, corporations were like created way later in the future. I wonder if you can really create a corporation in like the early ancient eras. You also get increased buffs using corporations, which is really nice. You could make those company yield bonuses into even greater bonuses. Now, this is a really nice addition to the corporations. You can create products. Ah, yes, a monopoly on all the chocolate, a monopoly on all the coffee. A monopoly 
of all the oil. Stock Exchange and Seaport buildings will now have slots for products. Okay, so this uh, Stock Exchange slots to move bonuses to other cities is an interesting way to like move your bonuses around. Another confusion I have about the corporations is how much resources do you need in order to create a corporation? Like do you need multiple duplicates or do you need like a certain amount? Do you need to find like five cocoa uh, resources in order to, to make a corporation of it? Does all the resources need to be found in like from one city or can you like find it from all the different cities in your empire or civilization and then use that to create a corporation? It's probably the latter where they can go ahead and like you, you find a bunch of resources and then you put it all in one corporation. Now this is something really interesting. A new global resource report where you can go ahead and create monopolies through getting most or all of the same luxury resources. Which I wish oil was a luxury resource because uh, as we all know, oil was pretty much monopolized in America by one guy. Rockefeller. Okay, so through getting monopolies, you can get some gold and tourism. It's interesting that they added tourism as a bonus for monopolies. It's a really nice ad actually. It's a really nice addition for the culture victory because those people that are going for culture victories now have another way, another way to go ahead and achieve that. And the best way to create these monopolies is probably through luck or through conquer. Conquer all the cities with luxury resources to become the ruler of all monopolies. I wonder if anyone can create a corporation civilization in this game. I wonder if any existed. Oh, that's right. They should have introduced the Dutch East India Company as a civilization. I think it would have worked so well with this game mode. I guess you can just go ahead and play as the Dutch, but like, y you know, the Dutch East India Company was pretty much an entire civilization that was a company. And something I'd like them to add in this little game mode is maybe a global economic collapse. We all know what happened in 2008 and right now, I mean like due to the, uh, you know, the bad virus, the entire world is going through kind of a global economic collapse. So I think it'd be interesting to add that kind of thing into the Civilization VI you know, capitalism game mode. I also quickly wanted to mention that we recently got our first server boost on Discord. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. Link in the description. Okay, and here's the final thing for this new DLC. We get a new district. The Preserve. The Preserve. And already off the bat, is this thing completely overpowered? Another culture bomb district? It increases appeal to adjacent tiles. So if you want like a good culture victory, this is the way to go. You create a bunch of preserves everywhere. This district also goes ahead and gives you some more housing and you can create two new buildings from it. The Grove, which unlocks with mysticism, and the Sanctuary, which unlocks with conservation. The Grove and the Sanctuary. So the Grove will give you some food and faith and some culture, but the sanctuary, now that's what I'm looking for. Science, gold, and production, baby. Oh yeah, I love my science bonuses. Oh yeah, and look at graph. Look, like literally none of you guys are subscribed. Why are you guys watching my videos and not subscribing? We're trying to get to 500 subscribers now. Let's get it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you'd like to see next time. And remember guys, one more Turn. Bye. <clears throat>